Hi guys, I'm into day one of this uh, do-it-yourself static clean window film installation and just thought I'd share in case anyone wanted to score some brownie points with the wife. Okay, first what we have here are the tools of the trade. This is what you're going to need to get started. Okay. Don't tell the wife about this. I have here her coasters, and I'll explain that later. <laughs> okay, the trusty measure, tape measure here, to um, measure out your window spaces, and uh, that really speeds up the project as far as the installation. We'll get into that more later. Okay, trusty marker here. I need that to mark. Mark out your uh, pieces to be sure that you check, check, and recheck to be sure that you are uh, cutting the right sizes for the uh, final installation. What we have here is the uh, trusty box knife. Okay, what that's used for will be obvious. Uh, you're going to measure three times and cut once. And you'll be using that box knife to trim the outside of the uh, film to make it uniform and look uh, nice and uh, neat once it's installed on the window surface. Okay. Have your trusty scissors here. Okay. And in case that box knife doesn't do the job, you have the backup of the scissors there. Here, your basic yardstick. That'll be used to assist in your measurements as well and holding down the uh, product to keep it from rolling up. It has a tendency to bunch up and that's what these will be used for as well. Okay. Um, your everyday average squeegee and we'll be spraying the windows quite frequently. Uh, that's part of the overall process with soapy water to get the uh, static cling material to adhere to the window surface. So uh, we'll get into that more later as well. Okay. Hi guys, uh, we're into day two of the uh, window clean project. And we're going to now, these pieces have been pre-cut. You know, uh, they've already been measured out for the window. As far as size, um, you usually want to measure at least uh, one inch extra, allow rather, one inch extra for the width as well as the uh, height. So um, if you um, measure out at 62, just give it 63 or 64 inches on that measurement when you cut and um, likewise uh, on the width. Okay. And... Um, We'll move forward. Hey, I'm using my wife's coasters to hold down the static clean window film material. Keep it from bunching up on me. Okay. Also on her dining room table. But as you can see, I've taken great care to protect it. Put down a sheet over the top of it. So hopefully I don't get put out for using the dining room table as a work area. <laughs> now what we want to do here is we need to prep the window film for installation on the window. We've already re removed the protective coating that it's shipped with. So that coating has been removed already. And now what I'm going to do is spray a soap and water solution, just your basic soap and water solution. You could use um, any soap and water solution you like. You know, I just uh, basically have in here some Ajax, dish Ajax dishwashing liquid and uh, 
I would use five uh, percent solution to ninety to ninety five percent water, and you just spray it on generously. And this basically will help the window film cling to the window. Now this is a very important step, so be generous with your spray. Because as I stated earlier, this helps the film actually cling to the window surface. Now, that's step number two. Number two. And uh, until next time, this is Carl signing out. Okay, hi guys. We're now going to begin the installation process. And the first step there is you want to remove the protective film. with the same solution. So now we will take our window film over to the window and we're going to do an installation here. So I'm going to have you guys follow me. Take a little working with the material before it starts to actually take hold. Be patient. does start to adhere like so 
Now we're going to grab our trusty squeegee so we can start to really take out any bubbles. Trusty squeegee. And I found that if you take your time and go down the middle first, this this has worked best for me to get the film to start to adhere. Okay, and this process here can take a little while, so you just have to keep working with it. starts to really adhere the clean material starts to adhere to the window. And like I said, this really helps with your cooling bills. Keeps those UV rays out. gives you a sense of privacy from the outside world when you like that. You just want to continue to work that water to the side of the window so that it can flow down and away from your set material. And you may need to adjust every now and then because as you use your squeegee, the film can have a tendency to move and that's okay, that's normal, but you just need to pay attention to what's going on so you can readjust it. As you continue to move, move through and Take out the water pockets and the excess water. Okay. All right. And I won't keep you through this process until I'm done with it, so I'll check back in with you later. Bye for now.